because Israel is the fiefdom of the Rothschild dynasty, which also controls the American administration, the British administration, and so Rothschild's one arm is not going to criticize Rothschild's other arm. In the Matrix movie, there's something called the Zion mainframe. Well, Zionism, Rothschild Zionism, is in so many ways a mainframe of this network. And it pervades all the way through. And it's not about, oh, these Jewish people here and these Jewish people there. It's, like, it's Rothschild Zionists who are there, and they answer to the Rothschild dynasty. Therefore, they play out the agenda of the web in a coordinated way. Now, before I start this, a lot of names coming up. I'm going to go just through a bit of the American administration and a few other things, just to give you a feel for it, for people that haven't seen the extent of this. Before I start, one fact. Jewish people in America are less than 2% of the population. A significant number of them will not be Rothschild Zionists, and therefore the ratio of Rothschild Zionists is even smaller, significantly smaller than the 2%. Okay. Obama's immediate handler is a guy called Rahm Emanuel. He has served in the Israeli army. He's the White House Chief of Staff. He does uh, whatever he says. His father, Emanuel's father, was a terrorist in the Ergun terrorist group that bombed Israel into existence in 1948. And uh, this is the relationship between Rahm Emanuel, uh, he's the kind of Peter Mandelson of America, and uh, Obama. Hey, you want a Nobel Peace Prize? I can sort it, son. I can sort it, son. No problem. All, all pictures like that, by the way, are by a guy called David Dees, who's a, a political artist, brilliant, uh, American, work, uh, works out of Sweden. Uses images so powerfully to tell a, a thousand words as they go. This guy is the second handler in the White House. His name's David Axelrod, Rothschild Zionist, and he um, was the man who orchestrated the entire election campaigns of Obama against Hillary Clinton and then against John McCain. The main funder and orchestrator of the funding, in terms of individuals, of Obama was a guy called George Soros, Rothschild Zionist, who manipulates countries and, and, and uses his networks and funding to create coups in countries where they want to change the regime, regime change. And he bets on currencies, um, like he bet on the pound years ago, and makes a fortune out of the demise of the economy of other countries, because he has no empathy. Henry Kissinger. Massive Rothschild Zionist to serve that dynasty's agenda for uh, 40 years, if not 50 years. And he's now an advisor to Obama, even though he's a, a, officially a Republican. The American economy, the American um, economic team, is led by Timothy Geithner, Treasury Secretary, Rothschild Zionist, and Larry Summers, Rothschild Zionist. The entire Obama budget is run by the budget director, Peter Orzag, Rothschild Zionist. This man was advising the Russian treasury when the Russian governments were giving state assets uh, away to Rothschild Zionist oligarchs, including Roman Abramovich, the owner of Chelsea Football Club, by the way. It's very easy to become a, a billionaire when a state says, have these assets worth a billion, <laughs> billions of pounds, thank you very much. It's a piece of cake. You could buy a football club if you want. And this man's company was also advising the Icelandic Central Bank in the run-up to the Icelandic crash. The Federal Reserve in America, which controls the American economy in so many ways, it's a privately owned, not government owned central bank, and it's privately owned by the Rothschilds and the affiliates of the Rothschilds, is Bernard Bernanke, Rothschild Zionist. He replaced Alan Greenspan, Rothschild Zionist, who was ahead of the Federal Reserve from Reagan Bush right up into the Boy Bush um, administration. And he systematically took away the checks and balances which allowed the mayhem of 2008 to unfold. We keep hearing about Goldman Sachs and all the mayhem that it's created, both in the crash of 2008 and the crash of the economy in Greece, fundamentally uh, involved Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is a fiefdom of the Rothschilds headed by Lord Blankfein, Rothschild Zionist. 
The World Bank, headed by a Rothschild Zionist. The IMF, International Monetary Fund, headed by a Rothschild Zionist. European Central Bank, headed by a Rothschild Zionist. A stream of so-called czars, as they call them in America, controlling different policies and areas, policy areas of the Obama administration, Rothschild Zionists, including Cass Sunstein, who has actually written a paper saying people who have conspiracy theories should either be banned from expressing them or taxed for expressing them. Taxed! Climate change policy in the Obama administration is controlled by Carol Brown, a Rothschild Zionist, and Todd Steen, Rothschild Zionist. Major area of policy. The uh, American administration is utterly awash with Rothschild Zionists, and that is not by accident. It's because they're agents of the dynasty or agents of the control system. It's not about race. Mossad is not the uh, intelligence agency of Israel. It's the intelligence agency of the Rothschilds and that's why it turns up all over the world um, in false flag set up terrorist events and assassinations and all that stuff because it's not carrying out the policy of Israel. It's carrying out the policy of the Rothschilds that control Israel. Now let's look at 9-11. The World Trade Center lease was purchased just a few weeks before 9-11 by Larry Silverstein, Rothschild Zionist, and Frank Lowy, Rothschild Zionist, and the deal was done with this guy called Eisenberg, Louis Eisenberg, Rothschild Zionist, the head of the New York Port Authority. The head of the CIA who investigated um, what happened on 9-11, George Tenet, Rothschild Zionist. Um, the Patriot Act, which was brought out, the Orwellian Take Your Freedoms Away in, in, uh, Patriot Act in America, was co-authored, justified by 9-11, though it was written before because they knew it was coming, uh, by uh, Michael Shertoff, uh, whose mother was a Mossad agent and who became the second head later of Homeland Security, an organization Orwellian that was justified by 9-11. At the time of 9-11, in the run-up to it, and then the war on terror and all that stuff, the Pentagon was dominated by Paul Wolfowitz, uh, Rothschild Zionist, Dove Zakheim, the comptroller, who managed to lose trillions of dollars and still got away with it. And by the way, when one announcement was made of what, how much he'd lost or, or had gone missing in the Pentagon, they announced it on September the 10th, 2001. I wonder if they realized that because of that, it would never see the light of day. Dove Zakheim, Rothschild Zionist, and people like uh, Douglas Feith or Fife, Rothschild Zionist in the Pentagon. Now, as I've said earlier, the Bush administration was dominated and controlled by what became known as the neocons, the neoconservatives, which were a Rothschild Zionist organization, led by people like Richard Pearl, Rothschild Zionist, William Crystal, Rothschild Zionist, John Bolton, Rothschild Zionist, in belief in nothing, if, if nothing else. And then the 9-11 Commission report, which was the official report investigating 9-11, they wanted Kissinger to uh, head it uh, first until the public he didn't take that seriously and he had to step down. But that report, which agreed that the official story of 9-11 was true, was written and overseen by Philip Zelico, Rothschild Zionist. The judge, Alvin uh, Hellerstein, who is uh, hearing and overseeing the cases of the 9-11 families, who were taking out lawsuits to try to find the truth of 9-11, etc. Rothschild Zionists making sure that truth never comes out. Think of the ratio I said earlier as I go through this. The man who coined the phrase, he was a Bush speechwriter, uh, the axis of evil, which targeted Iraq before they invaded Iran and North Korea, was David Froome, Rothschild Zionist. So when you look at this, because Israel is the fiefdom of the Rothschilds, you see that this dynamic, so you'd think, is the man of 300 million people, the superpower, is the, is, the, is the most powerful of the two. No, no. He is controlled from there. Because the Rothschilds control them. Do you know Israel has the second biggest F-16 fleet in the world? The biggest outside of America. It's a slither of land. How did they get them? Dub Zakheim, as comptroller of the Pentagon, Rothschild Zionist, made a load of uh, weaponry and planes in America scrap when they weren't so they could be passed for a song to Israel. 